Hi, my name is Paul Medwell, Professor of Mechanical Engineering at University of Adelaide. Hydrogen has been used in industry for many decades, but it is becoming more commonplace as a replacement for fossil fuels. By their nature, all fuels have some hazards associated with them. Hydrogen is not necessarily more dangerous than other fuels or gases, it just has differences to what we are used to in petrol or natural gas, for example. So, what makes it different? Let's look at the basic properties of hydrogen. Hydrogen is non-toxic, colourless, tasteless and odourless, although an odourant can be added. Hydrogen is 14 times lighter than air, which means it's very buoyant. This means if it is released, it tends to move in an upward direction. Similarly, it also spreads easily, so it dissipates quickly in all directions, which does counteract some of the buoyancy effects. Hydrogen is combustible over a wide range of concentrations, from 4% to 75% in air by volume. This range is much wider than other fuels, and together with hydrogen's lower ignition energy, it can ignite more easily compared with petrol or natural gas. If ignited, pure hydrogen burns with an almost invisible flame and produces no smoke and low radiant heat, although these effects depend on a range of factors. Hydrogen is a small molecule which makes it susceptible to leaks. A hydrogen leak is detectable using a gas detector. Flames are detectable with either UV or thermal imaging cameras. Currently, hydrogen is commonly used and stored as a gas compressed in cylinders and tanks. It is often stored in steel cylinders similar to other gases, but it can also be stored in lightweight composite tanks. There are a range of storage methods available, but for larger amounts, it can be liquefied. For it to be a liquid, it must be cooled at negative 253 degrees Celsius, making it a cryogenic. These temperatures introduce new hazards. It is most commonly used in industrial processes in a variety of ways. It can also be used in vehicles, either burning it or using technology called a fuel cell. The gas is dispensed into the vehicle by the kilogram and stored in onboard tanks. To summarise, hydrogen has a range of potential uses. However, it introduces new challenges and requires additional engineering controls to enable its safe use. Importantly, it has been used for many years and it can be used safely.